There are three parts to an optical encoder. The light transmitter, the light receiver, and then a mechanical device to block the signal. So here's the transmitter and receiver. And there's a laser or even just an LED light in there that will send a beam of light to represent in this case, I'll say a 1. When this light beam is broken due to an obstacle, this becomes a 0. An example of this could be you have a, a CD over here, and there's a tray that holds it. As this moves in, my, it could have a uh, ledge here, and it will block the signal, showing the sensor that the drive is closed. Another method encoders are used for is to find positioning instead of an on or off state. Though an optical encoder only works with ones and zeros, it can be used to find positioning. Here's a band out of a scanner. It's too hard to see with the naked eye, but there are thousands of little black and clear stripes on here. This will lay in the scanner, and as the scan head progresses, it can count and keep track of how far it is into the scan. So repre to represent that tape, So as, uh, once again, as the scanner is moving, this band will move back and forth, allowing you to measure where you are in the scan. Now, for simplicity, I'm going to erase these parts so I can talk more about the encoder. This is what the encoder will see. So if you have 50 black stripes, you have a resolution of 50. However, there is a trick to make a complicated thing easy. Whenever it goes from a 1 to a 0, we have a 1, which corresponds with the step at these leading and falling edges. So now our band with six stripes on it now has a resolution of 12. This is really powerful. There is a limitation to the accuracy of your encoder. We can ultimately double that. Now there are other encoders that are radial. You can see this one spinning. So by hooking this, this receiver and transmitter to this radial encoder, you can see how many rotations and what fraction of a rotation this encoder has gone. This is the same method I'm going to be using on my air regulator project. So I have that round encoder. Each time it changes from the black to the clear or the clear to the black represents a 1. So I can get a resolution of two from each of these black lines. For example, I'll use my project for this. I have a server motor down here that's not particularly accurate. Now let's say I want to rotate 90 degrees. We'll have to do a little bit of math. So we have 100 steps and that covers all 360 degrees. That means approximately we have zero Point two. approximately we have 0 0.278 steps per degree. So if we want to go 90 degrees and with that number we just found of steps per degree we will go 25 degrees. And this is correct because 90 degrees 25 steps 100 steps, 25 steps.
If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please like the video. And for more videos like this, please subscribe and share it with friends.